Convex lens, so it's got a positive focal length, and we just write down the things that are given. Focal length is 3. Um, the image or the object is four centimeters in front of the mirror, so D O is four centimeters, and the object is two centimeters tall, so that's H O. Okay, we're solving for the image distance. So my equations are at the bottom of the page. We got this one, which has focal length, and this one that has magnification. You'll notice both of them have DI. So it might be kind of tricky to figure out which one to use. But the key is this. The key is it gave me focal length. And so that's going to be the 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. That's, that's the one I'm going to be using. Okay, so now we put the numbers in. So we got 1 over F, so 1 over 3 equals 1 over 4 plus 1 over DI. Now, I'm going to need common denominators unless I'm turning into uh, decimals, which is fine. Uh, common denominator is going to be 12. So multiply this one by 3 over 3. Multiply this one by 4 over 4. Okay, gives me 4 over 12 equals 3 over 12 plus 1 over di. Then we're going to subtract the 3 over 12 to get di by itself. So that gives me 1 over 12 equals 1 over di. Now remember, that's not the final answer. All you got to do to get the final answer here is flip them. Which is why I say it's easier to use fractions than decimals. So this becomes 12 equals di. All right, easy enough. Magnification. So magnification is very similar, but we're going to use the other equation. M equals HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. And again, people are going to look at this and say, Mr. B, I got three equations. I got two equal signs. What the heck is going on here? So here's what's going on. You're only going to know enough information for two of these three things. So you have to figure out which ones you know the stuff for. So I don't know the magnification, but that's what I'm solving for. I do know DI. I just solved it. I do know, D, I do know DO. It was given to me. So all I have to do is use those to solve. I don't know HI. I do know HO. But that's not enough, so I'm just going to get rid of the HOHI business and just do this. M equals negative DI. DI, we just got to be 12 over DO. DO is 4. Magnification is negative 3. Okay, image height, same equation. So I know what M is now. It's negative 3. So I don't need the DODI business. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to get negative 3 equals HI over HO, which is 2. Multiply both sides by 2. 
and you get HI equals negative 6. There you go. So, we use the focal length equation to figure out di. We use di and do to figure out magnification. We use magnification to figure out height of the image. And all that's left is to figure out if it's real or virtual. Two ways to figure out, looking at di or looking at the magnification. So negative magnifications are always real. Positive magnifications are virtual. Negative, uh, positive DIs are always real, and negative DIs are always virtual. So this is a positive DI and a negative magnification. That means this is real. There you go. That's all there is to it. No. So if you get a positive DI, magnification will always be negative. Yeah, and that's just from the equation. The equation's got a negative built into it, so it'll always be opposite. So if this is negative, then this will be positive. They're always opposite signs of each other. Yeah. All right, go ahead and see if you can finish two. See if you can get two done. If you can get more than that, awesome. But see if you can get two done um, before we head out here. Um, just so you can get a little bit of practice under your own belt. Um.